Hi, I'm Gavin. So I'm going to look at another good camera lens combo. And this is the um, Yashica FX3 Super 2000 with the 28mm Yashica NL lens on the front. Now, these are, this is a CY mount camera. Basically, Yashica and Contact, were sort of, it's the same swirling mess where they've got the same mount. Yashica, basically, electronics are inside the Contact camera, so they're very similar, sort of like... Um, you can mount a Zeiss lens on this and these lenses go onto contacts. Obviously they're not, they're very dissimilar in design internally, um, but they are linked by, you know, manufacturer. And this was sort of like a cut down version of the RTS. So it's one 2000 shutter speed. But the big thing about this camera is it's manual. It's a mechanical camera, sorry. And what does that mean? It means I could shoot this at its speeds without a battery in it. It'll work without batteries. The only thing that's powered by a battery in this is the meter. So it's sort of like a red and a red and a green thing that go up and down till you're in you're in um, sort of got the right exposure. Let me have a look. Yeah, so it's like a plus two. There's a red red bar on the bottom, and then it goes green when you've got it right. So you have to adjust the. It's not aperture project. You have to adjust the shutter speed. Put that down to F. And the aperture, obviously, to get it in that middle zone, that green dot light zone. So yeah, so it's got rudimentary metering. But if that fails, it doesn't matter, you can carry on shooting it, use a light meter or by eye if you're hardcore. But yeah, so this is like a real ideal camera to take away with you because it doesn't want our batteries, all you need is film and you've got it. Um, your Shika lenses were fantastic in their own right. Um, as a 28, so you can pretty much, away from versatile lens for street photography and anything, you can get most things done with a 28. Um, but yeah, very, very useful camera. It's like, built like a tank. Here the shutter go. You can hear that. Basically, it's like a door slamming. But it works. And these do take great photos, irrespective of the nasty agricultural nature of what you're hearing. It has a timer. And yeah, so this is a great little combo combination to have. You know, the 28, and then you've got a mechanical camera. Doesn't matter if the batteries go, take um, lithiums. Doesn't matter if the batteries goes, you can shoot all day. So if you're going on a holiday or something and you don't know if you can get I think the problem when you go on holiday is more availability of film, really, isn't it? Not as much batteries, but you know, if you're going away and you've got loads of film and you're worried about the camera, then basically the batteries and stuff, well, don't worry about it. And they are very robust cameras. I mean, this thing just goes on and on and on. There's very little that can break with these and they could be mishandled. You could feel them. They're really, I don't know, they're not solidly, they feel solidly built, but they're a bit, I don't know, very weird. But the thing is, yeah, that's a great combination. It's, these are getting more expensive, I don't know why. I think because of mechanical ones. These lenses aren't hugely expensive and they're very underrated and they're brilliant. So if you can get some ML lenses, that are the ones you want to get hold of, then you can, you can get some really great uh, great lenses. I've got a 28, I've got a 24 and a 50 somewhere as well. But yeah, they're really good. Anyway, so that's the uh, Yashica FX3 Super 2000. That's a great combination. I have the 28 and that, and you're good to go. You don't even need batteries. Anyway, thanks for watching.